Hello everyone. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile. You are still dead in your sins. Words from Paul, 1 Corinthians 15. Do you hear what he's saying? If Christ had merely died on the cross and was never raised from the dead, everyone would be dead in their sins. Without the resurrection of Jesus, his death on the cross means nothing. That's what Paul is saying. If Christ has not been raised, you are still dead in your sins. Institutional Christianity has all kinds of atonement theories. And all of them fall short. And none of them can really explain how it is that any of us are washed in the blood of Jesus. And she had all these sort of vague explanations about how all this works. In this video, we're going to at least start to see how it works. We're going to start to answer the question, what did Jesus accomplish at the cross? And how we benefit from what he accomplished at the cross. Jesus was our forerunner, our trailblazer, the pioneer of the way. He blazed the way to the presence of God, the very presence of God in heaven. The right idea concerning what he accomplished on the cross begins with understanding that he went ahead of us. He went first. He did it first. He was a man who actually made it. In this way, he became the causer or the initiator of our salvation. And now we are to follow him and go where he went, walking as he walked toward the same destination. And he knows the way to eternal life. Been there, done that. This is why he is the author of our faith, meaning the Christian faith, the way of Christianity. We can follow him on the narrow way that leads to life that he talks about in Matthew 7. He found a way out of the darkness. He overcame and he did this by walking in the Spirit, obeying his God, and being faithful to the very end, offering himself up to God. He overcame. And because he overcame, there is a way we can overcome as well. We humans have a man in heaven, in the presence of God. He was made perfect through suffering. Suffering on a cross. And having been made perfect, 
He is the way out of our condition and into his resurrection life. The way to the Father right now. Right here, right now. We can participate with him walking as he walked and overcome just as he overcame. He offered himself up to God as a living sacrifice until he was stone dead on a cross. Because of this, we who pick up our cross and follow after him, sharing in his sufferings, are cleansed by his blood. Because by participating with him, we are in him, in the sacrificial lamb of God. And we are called to offer up our bodies as living sacrifices, just as he did. He was a lamb of God, slaughtered on a cross. And we also are but lambs for the slaughter. So let's look at some of the scripture that tells us these things. This hope we have is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and one which enters inside the veil, into the Holy of Holies in heaven, in other words. Where Jesus has entered as a forerunner, a pioneer, a trailblazer for us, having become a high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Jesus was a trailblazer. He opened the way. He blazed a trail for us so that we can follow him to the same destination. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of the faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He is where it all began, and he led the way. He went first, and that's why he is the author of our salvation. He made it. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and through whom are all things, God the Father, in bringing many sons to glory, to perfect the author of their salvation through sufferings. Jesus made perfect through sufferings. Jesus was perfected on the cross. And because of this, he authored a way for us to be saved. He was the first to take this road to life, resurrection life, immortal life. In the days of his flesh he offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one able to save him from death, and he was heard because of his piety. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from the things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became the initiator of eternal salvation to all those who obey him. That Greek word there, I translated as initiator. It sort of means the causer, because he did it first. It's sort of similar to the author idea, but it's not the same word. He initiated this. Because he did it first. Jesus was perfected on the cross. And because of this, he initiated a way for us to be saved and receive eternal life by obeying him. He made it first. Through his own blood, he entered the holy place. 
Through his own blood, he entered the holy place, once for all having obtained eternal redemption. How did he enter? By his own blood. By his own blood. Understand this clearly. Jesus entered heaven and the Holy of Holies by means of his own blood. Not somebody else's blood. Not the blood of goats and bulls. He entered by his own blood. That's how he got there. He made it. He went first. Because he entered by means of his own blood, there is now a way for us to enter. A new and living way through his flesh. He who overcomes, I will grant to him to sit down with me on my throne. Just as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Jesus overcame the world. He was victorious when he died without ever sinning. He made it. He made it. He made it out of the wilderness. He blazed a trail so that we can follow him. He made it. Jesus was perfected suffering on a cross. And having become perfect, he himself led the way to eternal life and in this way is the author of our salvation. He's the author because he made it first. He went first and he entered by his own blood. He did it. Someone did it. And having done it, he made a way for us to do it. His way, the way of Christ. He blazed a trail for us to follow behind him to the same destination by walking the same walk. How do we benefit from his accomplishment on the cross? How do we benefit in his blood by which he entered into the presence of God? Key word, participation. Participation with him. We must pick up our cross and follow him just as he taught us. Walking as he walked, suffering as he suffered, giving up our bodies as living sacrifices to God. So that just as he was a sacrificial lamb, we are but lambs for the slaughter at the hands of the world just like he was. He entered by his own blood, and we only share in the benefit of his blood by participating with him, taking up our own cross, dying with him. And when we obey him in this way, we die with him and participate with him. And when we participate with him, we are in him and salvation is in him very important words if you are not in him you don't belong to him you have no eternal life you have no salvation it's in him Christ comes to dwell in us by the Spirit of God such that we no longer live, but He lives in us. The Spirit of Christ in us. 
The Lord is the Spirit. When we are in Him, by participating with Him, and He is in us, we have His resurrection life, and that is our salvation. If Christ has not been raised, you are still dead in your sins. We need resurrection life to be saved. When we pick up our cross, committing ourselves to suffer with him, we receive resurrection life. Christ in us, the sacrificial lamb. We receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit which gives us life. The resurrection life of Jesus Christ, who is immortal because of that life. What did Jesus accomplish at the cross? He overcame. He did it. He made it. He was perfected through suffering. And we must overcome. And because He did, there is a way for us to do it. He was perfected through suffering and death. He made it. What did he accomplish at the cross? He made it all the way. A man did it. He entered by his own blood. And because he did it, through him and only through him and in him, there is a way for us. The way of Christ, the way that leads to life, the narrow way that few find. He knows the way to life. He's been there, done that, and you can trust in Him to lead the way. Surrender to Him, because He knows the way. Pick up your cross and follow in his footsteps. He knows the way. Follow in his footsteps if you want to save your soul. You must pick up your cross and lose your soul if you want to save it. Participating with Jesus. Walking just as he walked. This is our faith. This is our victory. God bless you.